The following is a senior design project for Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne, Spring 2011. The following is a demonstration of a LabVIEW based automatic paralleling of synchronous generator system by Samuel Leffler and Nicholas Dykusen with the project advisor of Dr. David Momo. The first portion of the demonstration will show the generator setup and preparation. In order for the generators to run, the voltage source needs to be turned on, first at the master switch, then at the 12208 volts AC, and also at the 125 volt DC. The 12208 volts AC three-phase source is applied to the induction motor as the prime mover of the synchronous alternator. The 125 volt DC source is used for the excitation field current of both generator 1 and generator 2. Next, we will demonstrate the automatic connection and the emergency disconnect. The LabVIEW program shows the voltage RMS at the top, voltage amplitude in the middle, and the frequency at the bottom. There are indicators that light up to display that these values are matched. The frequency is matched in this case due to the fixed speed of the induction motor. Now the voltage RMS of generator 1 needs to be adjusted to 208 volts by varying the field current using the rheostat. These adjustments will visually be displayed on LabVIEW. Next, the voltage RMS of generator 2 needs to be adjusted to match the voltage of generator 1 and will be indicated as matched with the green light shown in LabVIEW. The closer the values are matched to one another, the more efficient the synchronization of the generator signals becomes, reducing the chance of power loss from the generators due to motoring. This will also help in the auto connection of the system. LabVIEW indicates that the voltages and frequencies are matched, and then the auto connect button is pressed to begin the phase angle difference detection. The synchroscope is introduced to help visually represent that the auto connection feature works correctly. When the needle of the scope is near the 12 o'clock position, the generators will connect by closing a relay connecting the generator's outputs together. Next, an emergency disconnect is made available to quickly disconnect the two generators by opening the relay through LabVIEW. When the emergency disconnect is pressed, the synchroscope needle rotates again to show the phase angle difference verifying that the generators are not synchronized. Next, we will demonstrate another automatic connection, but with the digital output relief. With the voltages and frequencies matched, the auto connect button is pressed in LabVIEW, and the synchroscope displays that it connects again at the 12 o'clock position. When the generators are connected, this time the manual switch on the prototype board is pressed bypassing the relay switch, and the digital out of the data acquisition device is removed to open the relay, therefore reducing the dependency of a computer to maintain synchronization. To conclude the demonstration, a hardware connection will be utilized with the use of an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is set to display both generator signals and is then paused to show the signals 180 degrees apart. Then the oscilloscope is paused when the phase angles are matched and are represented by the signals overlapping one another. Next, the generator outputs are synchronized closing the manual switch when the synchroscope reaches the 12 o'clock position to validate that the generators have been properly connected in parallel by representing the signals as one. Finally, the manual switch is open to display the generators are properly disconnected and visually representing the phase angle difference on the oscilloscope, concluding the demonstration of a LabVIEW-based automatic paralleling of synchronous generator system.